Welcome to the Potter and Telepurge valve installation video for model INSPV. For more information and detailed installation instructions, visit www.pottersignal.com. Find a location that is most remote from the fire sprinkler system control valve that is easily accessible. The location should meet the following requirements. Access to the front and top for maintenance. Conveniently located near power requirements, 24 volts AC-DC. Dry, clean, well ventilated, covered, and away from high voltage power. Ambient temperatures between negative 4 degrees Fahrenheit and 122 degrees Fahrenheit. Run a 24 volt AC DC wire to installation location to power the INSPV. Note Class 2 transformers are available for a 120 volt application. Wire gauge must be considered when running power for long distances. Minimum wire gauge is 22 AWG. If utilizing the networking functionality of the INSPV or INSPVs to a Potter Intelligent Series nitrogen generator, the P-Link connection requires three signal lines to allow communication. These terminals are referred to as PLA, PLB, and PLG on the INSPV and the nitrogen generator. The P-Link connection requires three-wire twisted stranded cable. Unshielded stranded Cat5 equivalent or higher rated networking cable is recommended. The INSPV shall be installed in accordance with local ordinances and the applicable NFPA 13, NFPA 13D, or NFPA 13R standard. Install the mechanical portion of the purge valve vent to a half inch NPT connection off the sprinkler system. Caution, vent must be installed as shown in level horizontal position to allow safety float to operate freely. Note. The unit must be installed at an appropriate height above a test valve or auxiliary drain to ensure that a trapped water column doesn't block the flow of gas to the purge valve. Install the INSPV control box to the vent using the attached union and position for easy access. Caution: If the purge valve is installed in the incorrect orientation, the safety float will always remain closed and the INSPV will not purge. After installation, close the ball valve prior to hydrostatic testing. Using one of the half-inch knockouts located on the back of the INSPV control box, wire the 24-volt AC-DC power supply to the terminal marked E4. When networking an INSPV or multiple INSPVs to the nitrogen generator, it will require three signal lines to allow communication to and from the generator. A stranded, twisted pair wire shall be used to connect the P-Link. Potter recommends unshielded 24 AWG stranded Cat5 or higher network cable. Refrain from using solid core wire as it is easily broken when opening and closing the front access panel of the INSPV. This could result in network communication loss. Note. Up to 26 INSPVs can be networked to a single nitrogen generator. Ensure all INSPVs are powered down and all ball valves located on the mechanical portion of the purge valve are in the closed position. Utilizing the networking cable, connect the generator to the first INSPV using the blue wire for the PLA, the striped white and blue wire for PLB, and the orange for the PLG connection. This connection will be made on the P-Link terminal block inside the nitrogen generator and will land on the P-Link in terminal on the INSPV. If this is the only device on the network, the wiring is complete. If there are additional INSPVs being networked, the wiring will daisy chain from the P-Link out terminal on the first INSPV to the P-Link in terminal on the next INSPV making sure to utilize the same wire color and configuration that was used making the initial connection. Repeat this sequence until the final INSPV is reached. Note, if wiring sequences become crossed, the devices will not be able to communicate. Each INSPV that was networked will require a unique address for communication. Locate the dip switch block labeled S2 to begin the addressing procedure. Use a small screwdriver or flat blade to toggle the dip switch pins to the appropriate configuration to set the address. Dip switches in the up position are on and dip switches in the down position are off. A single INSPV that is networked to a nitrogen generator will always be addressed as device 27, 
indicating the end of line. If multiple INSPVs are being networked to a nitrogen generator, the first INSPV in the sequence will always start with address 2. The sequence will continue in numeric order with the last device being address 27. Here is an example of addressing an installation of five INSPVs to a nitrogen generator. Caution, never address an INSPV as address one or the master. All dip switch address configurations can be found in the INSPV manual. Addresses are indicated by the white toggle being configured in either the up or on position or by being in the down or off position. Once all INSPVs have been networked and addressed, restore power to all INSPVs and ensure the nitrogen generator is powered on. The nitrogen generator must establish communication with the purge devices, so the learn network function on the generator must be performed. Press enter on the intelligent display keypad located on the front of the nitrogen generator while on the title screen. Press 5 for settings, enter code 0000, press 1 for network, press 2 for learn network. The panel display will begin searching for devices. Once finished, the panel will display P-Link found and P-Link removed. Select one for P-Link found and scroll through all devices to verify all devices have been found. Press the escape key and then press one for accept changes. The generator and all purged devices will restart to complete the process. The network is now learned and the systems can be purged. To begin purging the sprinkler system or systems, press the large purge button on the INS display. Enter code 0000, press one for start purge, press one for all devices. All systems will begin purging and this will be indicated by an illuminated red LED on the INS display panel. Once the purity reaches 98% or greater, the purge valve will close automatically and the purge process will be complete. Make sure any closed isolation valves on the INSPV or INSPVs are now opened, otherwise the sprinkler system will not be able to purge. Before applying power to the INSPV, open the INSPV front access panel and ensure all pins located on the S2 dip switch are in the down or off position. Close the access panel. Note. This should be the default configuration. Apply power to the INSPV and ensure the power LED is lit solid green. To initiate the purging process, press the toggle labeled Start Purge located on the front of the INSPV. Once the purge has been initiated, the yellow purge LED indicator will begin blinking. Make sure any closed isolation valves located on the INSPV are now opened, otherwise the system will not be able to purge. The purge time will display on the bottom red LEDs. This indicates the maximum amount of time the unit is allowed to purge without signaling a low purity alarm. The green dashes will remain until the first nitrogen purity measurement is taken after 24 hours. Purity will continue to update every 24 hours. Once the nitrogen purity reaches 98% or greater, the INSPV will validate and close automatically. The blinking yellow purge LED will turn solid. This indicates a successful purge. Potter INSPV and telepurge valves are designed to continually monitor nitrogen purity to ensure the fire sprinkler system is protected from corrosion. If the nitrogen purity level drops below 98% or the purge fails, the INSPV will go into a local trouble illuminate the red trouble LED, and report this condition to the BMS, fire panel, and or nitrogen generator if it was networked or being monitored. Final note, if at any time oxygen is reintroduced to the fire sprinkler system, a new purge process must be initiated. This concludes the installation and purge procedure for the Potter IntelliPurge valve model INSPV. For more information, please visit www.pottersignal.com.